Hello people, there's the 6mm France 1940 game here again. I've seen a couple of posts on the internet, people asking about solutions for representing fields in war games and I thought well I've done a couple of my own builds and I've also bought some ready-made stuff so I thought I'd show you the options. The first thing I did was I had this green material given me, it's just cotton. I'm pretty sure I sprayed this with some sort of paint because it's definitely stiffer than it was but that's neither in nor out there really it's probably better if it wasn't sprayed because then it would flow over hills a bit better but the upshot is cut it to whatever shape you want I tend not to have them rectangular for whatever reason and then get some oil pastels and just get it sideways on draw it across or push it away it's probably a better way of doing it and uh, you get a nice irregular blotchiness of I don't know patches of patches of different coloured grass that's just with that olive coloured um, oil pastel which is probably not the best colour really the only brighter coloured pastel I've got is this one which is unfortunately a cheaper type don't buy the cheap oil pastels because they're not as soft this is the cheap one and it's really waxy so when you put it on you can get an horrible can get an horrible waxy look like you've used a wax crayon but that's not going on too bad you know so there you've got olive blotchiness olive patches of grass plus a bit of this bright green on top and if you wanted to, you could add some buttercups or something with a yellow pastel. This is one of the better quality ones. They're not expensive, they're just not the cheapest available, you know. The expensive ones are like 60p a stick. And to get all the different colours I wanted, yeah, you've got to buy them individually. So with this one, if you wanted, you could put on some buttercup effects to get some proper lighter yellow going on and yeah so there's a much lighter much lighter look to it main thing is it's not just plain green I mean that there is a pretty minimal amount of pastel I've put on that there's a lot there and I suppose it does come off on the wheels and the tracks of your miniatures, but you know, it doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, and with drawing it across the field, you know, widthways or lengthways, even meadows, when they get mown for, uh, what is it, hay, yeah, hay, or to make silage, the tractor's going to go one way or the other. So if you have got any longitudinal or widthways marks, doesn't matter because well that's how it will get cut eventually so um and then the final thing was to stop it fraying around the edge some pva glue and then dipped in some flock just to give it a bit of a sort of long grass effect i suppose so that's one way of doing it and that's really cheap and you know works the other thing which has been mentioned by other people as well is to get some hold of some brown corduroy this is pretty much micro cord. If you look how big that is compared to my finger, it's pretty. There's a way of measuring cord, whales. W A, I forget how you spell it now. W A L E S, probably. No, it's not. Whales. Can't remember now. But micro cord is probably best for 6mm. Normal size cord would probably be best for. 28 mil, but you know, let's get not let's not go into that. So get some brown micro cord. This is kind of a very dark brown peaty look to it, and well, there's some I've done earlier. Right, cut into shape. Same method with the oil pastels on top, except this time because you've got the ridges, you can get a good crop row effect either something like potatoes or if you did go down the um, yellow pastel route you could probably get a passable 
bit of stubble field effect if you go like that you see that's quite yellow now this stuff uh, I suppose you could go over it with hairspray but I don't think it comes off that easily there you go that's just peaty brown corduroy with yellow um, oil pastels on top but if you used green you could get some nice potato fields or whatever else you wanted and again round the edges with the PVA and flock to stop them fraying because otherwise especially so with cord you get uh, loads of you know, bits coming off it the other option is to get these things called HOTS mats from Eric HOTS over in Canada they're $13 a set plus $8 postage to the UK bear in mind if you well I bought two sets did I buy four sets I think I spent about 50 quid altogether and I ended up paying another 13 pound on top for duty might double the cost for importing them but there you go they're on felt they're all on this sagey coloured felt it's quite thick it's probably uh, three mil thick felt I suppose in three no four colours this horrible looking colour like old potatoes this dark green yellow um, bright green uh, they're supplied in four sizes I think the biggest size is actually twice the size of what I've got here because I kept I gave the larger sizes to somebody and swapped them for the equivalent area in smaller sizes so that's the biggest they go and that's the smallest you supplied within the set I'm going to cut these down into different shapes I'm not going to have them all rectangular I'm going to cut them into a bit more random shapes when I get around to thinking about you know what I'm ultimately going to do with them all these types of fields your best bet is probably to well that's if you have undulating gaming tables like me is to spray them spray them out and stick them down onto the gaming cloth but for the most part they do lie you know pretty much flat where you want them anyway so I haven't really felt the need to yet feel free to add any links in the comments below to websites with other ideas about fields and yeah there's the uh, three types of fields I've got in use at the moment hope you liked having a look at them and if you did get into some 6mm wargaming